Yes, at Dev Medical, we have heard a lot more um, questions around marijuana use. And that's just in the last two years. CDC officials say about one in 25 women have admitted to using marijuana while pregnant. That's about 4%. But according to the center, none of these women should use it. So it's been difficult to determine what are the actual effects of marijuana by itself. But the one thing that the medical community does attribute to a marijuana is a low birth weight. CDC officials agree, saying the drug can also cause developmental problems in newborns. Sue Saylor says women still ask about using it, especially to treat anxiety and morning sickness. But there has been limited research on the effect cannabis can have on you and your baby. And then many women who use marijuana, they also use other substances as well, so it's been difficult to determine what are the actual effects of marijuana by itself. It's a statement echoed in the marijuana industry. The studies are really flawed for the most part. They're not good control. So they can say that a mother who has consumed cannabis during her pregnancy might have a higher likelihood of this, but they're not controlling for that same mother who's using um, tobacco during her pregnancy or alcohol during her pregnancy. Shamel McKenzie is a co-owner of TJ's Provisions, a recreational marijuana dispensary in Eugene. She says when it comes to serving customers, they stick to only two rules. Are you over 21 and do you have a valid ID that we can accept? Um, are you visibly intoxicated or not? And that's about it. This means pregnant women can still come into the store and purchase marijuana products. Mackenzie says dispensaries cannot assume a woman is pregnant. She says they aren't allowed to give medical advice. Now, if the woman comes to them and says she needs help in finding something for morning sickness, they can't tell her that weed is effective. What they can do is tell her about other pregnant women's experiences with marijuana. Um, what we can say is that for other women who have used cannabis for morning sickness during their pregnancy, this seems to be an effective strain, but I think for most blood tenders, they would be even uncomfortable saying that. While Mackenzie is around pot every day, pregnancy isn't something new to her either. Mackenzie has been a trained doula for about 10 years. She says she's been a labor coach for her family long before then. She says what she's noticed in both industries is that most women stop using a lot of things during their pregnancies. She says a lot of her regulars stop coming into the shop during those nine months. They want to have the least amount of things in their body possible when they're pregnant. I know a lot of women that don't drink caffeine. Um, certainly women that give up smoking, alcohol consumption, um, any pharmaceuticals that they can stop taking, they do. And for the most part, most women, if they're a cannabis user, they get pregnant and they stop. Now, CDC officials say these things do go hand in hand. They say marijuana smoke has many of the same chemicals as tobacco smoke, and both could increase the chances for developmental problems in your baby. On the other hand, Mackenzie says her job as a doula is to be there for the mother during pregnancy and labor. But personally, she says she doesn't see using the drug during pregnancy as a major problem. My preference is always to go with something as minimal as possible. And um, I'm not sure personally how I would feel like with a home birth situation of mom choosing to use cannabis for pain control. I haven't come into that situation before, um, but I suspect on a personal level I would be pretty comfortable with it.